The European Investment Bank is committed to helping improve growth in Europe, climate action and development throughout Europe and beyond. To further exchange with civil society, the EIB organized a seminar in Luxembourg between civil society representatives and the bank's board of directors, its highest level of management. This is part of an important and ongoing dialogue between the EU bank and civil society from around the world. As the bank of the European Union, the EIB needs to offer an exceptional response for these exceptional times. I'd like to know in a short, sharp uh, articulation of how the bank aims to achieve both growth and uh, creation of jobs in Europe and at the same time achieve um, deep drastic emissions cuts. We talk about inclusive finance in terms of gender, we are talking about the youth, and uh, recently a new dimension of financial inclusion of persons with disabilities. <laughs> The EIB operates mostly in the EU, but also across the globe. The seminar includes speakers and participants from all across European society, as well as partners from North and Sub-Saharan Africa, and from different sectors and interests. The issue I should clarify is, is how we look at projects and decide whether we should fund them or not. So one issue we look at is the quality of the project. The second dimension, you could, you could call it the role of the, of the EU. And the third element is the contribution that the EIB makes to that particular project. You've got options. And what we're asking for is courage and vision. And this is what you can do as a board, is to say, well, these are the policy areas where we can make the best contribution to benefit Europe. The EIB Board of Directors has sole power to take decisions in respect of loans from the EIB. It sees that the bank is properly run and ensures that it is managed according to its founding treaty and statute. What could you do to help us to detect cases of corruption or to be aware of it? Is this kind of your concern? So I would like to know here um, how the board will enable the EIB to um, deal with these challenges that come with operating in conflict-affected and very complex situations.